Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and as Sponge would say, Counter-Strike fans across the world. Today, I'm going to be attempting a second attempt at analysing what I believe to be the worst game in CS Major History. Uh, this was the contender stage match played between Furia and Linvision, which was a best of one in the 0-1 bracket uh, on the second day of the Copenhagen Major. No, it would have been the first day, sorry. Um, this is, without, the bat, without a doubt, the most embarrassing display I've ever seen from any team ever, especially one that's supposed to be on Furious level. This isn't two teams that are like clearly the worst teams at the event. You know, Linvision did all right. They managed to pull a map away from Furia, as you're about to see. And Furia made it all the way to being a top 12 team, right? Or would it be, it'd be top 11, right? Because the top eight and then the three people who got eliminated in the two, three bracket. So this is almost a top 10 team. And you are going to see the display of absolute embarrassment that comes straight from this game because, my god, this is the worst thing I've ever seen Fury do in their entire life. You have um, some of the best prospects from Brazilian CS, including by far the best Brazilian Counter-Strike player that we have seen in the scene since the old SK Luminosity lineup. Um, this is Cold, Cold Sierra levels of impressive in case for Otto. Everyone else on the team has their ups and downs. Yuri has like the most consistent other player, and then I'd say Cello, Art, and finally Fallen. Fallen's dropped off since see what he used to be like, but this team should be capable of winning really easy games, especially ones in a 0-1 bracket against Linvision, who are I'd say out the 24 teams at the major, probably going to be in most people's 0-3 bracket. I'd say that they were probably the 20th or 21st worst team overall. That you're about to witness a true embarrassment and i will be having my notepad open on the side to go through the mistakes but we're just going to go through round, round by round and i'll explain to you how area embarrass themselves in front of the world uh, i will be playing this without any audio and i'll be using my mouse to highlight some of the things that have happened especially when we want to take a note of what's happening in each individual round um, i will be running my own Kind of commentary analysis on each thing so just as we go along furious starting ct side on nuke should be very favorable for them should be a nice and easy game against a team that is not even not even in the top 20. nice bit of camera work there from pgl you can see art's face but uh linvision here have taken a site and cello it's going to get knocked out of the equation, going to get set up with a retake. There is a double flash here, so Cello will be flashing his way into heaven. Um, Case Rato is going to be setting them up. There's Cello and Art on the retake from heaven, and Yuri's going to be waiting for a gap on main as soon as the smoke fades. Art's come down now, managed to get the first kill on the guy that's fully blind. Zaka is out of the equation, and Yuri's been flanked, so already we can see Fury are not really great with the awareness. Um, of the fact they could have been an outside flank this whole time. I assume they just believed that everyone was on A site. And 1v1, Westmelon plays this well. Nice bit of baiting, Cello on 5 HP, and there is no chance. So, round one, going the way of Lin Vision. I'll just cut through the highlights here. So, round two. Oh, well, you already have a massive mistake. And this one is a big one because this is this is what would soon become the downfall of Furia, and is something I noticed throughout the whole of Furia's major run. Art has forced bought an MP9 to zero dollars with armor. This is fine if you're going to trade your teammates who are on USPs and get two kills, because then you've got 1,200 in the next round with the loss bonus. You can run an MP9 again and have full armor. Because you know that you're going to be up against Galil's Mac Tens in the following in the following round. Watch. Let, let's keep an eye on Art. By the way, he's playing. Uh, you'll notice that he plays towards main. He'll come around on the left hand side here. Art, you can see playing above hut, ready for an A pop. There's nothing happening here. One player playing deep garage with Case Rato playing on the deep CT angle from hell. Trying to play around the edge of the smoke. Full and jump spotting for B. Bit of an open gap on vents here, but nothing that Cello can't cover and rotate and help. This is a beautiful advert. Thank you so much for helping me out with that.
Yeah, so Lin Vision are just waiting for the opening entry, an opportunity to pop onto A or B. Looks like they're going to be positioned towards B, knowing that Fallen is here with the USP. Meliak, you'll notice throughout this whole half that Meliak is the lobby holder. Um, every single time these guys try and take a B take from Secret or Ramp, Meliak is the one to catch off rotations through vents. And that actually comes in very... Uh, actually comes across as one of the faults that I noticed Fury having later on in the game. So Meliak has called out one person to heaven, Yuri's died in the process from back garage. And they're just going to be popping onto B. Nice, easy, simple round, nothing too much to comment on. I think it's Zaka here who's going to get joined by a teammate so they can hold secret for when they need to, uh, when they need to save. Now, here's the first thing. So, what happens here is Cello and Fallen are currently baiting for Art to get a couple of kills with this MP9 because every single kill is $600 and when you've got zero going into a full buy round, you can absolutely need every dollar you can get. Fallen here gets peaked by Emiliac and dies. Cello wide swings to try and help with the trade and take the distraction away from the crosshair on Emiliac so that Art can swing with him and get the kill. Notice what Art does. No swing. Art is chasing ghosts inside of A site, and there's nothing here. So at this point, the best thing you can hope for in Art's position is to go and save. And the bomb radius on this map is massive. You absolutely need to run now, Art. Art, you need to run. Art, you need to run. <laughs> and... Art has died to the bomb. Now Art has 2400 going into a full buy round and it's going to mean that Fallen, per, uh, fall, fallen sorry, falls back onto, a, onto an MP9 which gets dropped over. There is just no point. You cannot have your solo ramp player playing with an MP9. That's not good enough. You know, need to see they're up against three Galils. So yeah, no head armor for Art, um, no head armor for Fallen and no head armor for Cello, but that's a different story. He needs the utility for the A-hold. I don't think round three is going to have anything too crazy going on. Round three is pretty standard. You'll notice Lin Vision, this game, likes to tackle a lot of outside control. This is a good smoke pop, actually, and a good kill from Art. Yuri and Art working together there was very strong. But now, uh, now Fury and O, that Linda Vision was trying to crack into the A site, so they're either going to reposition outside, or they're going to try and crank down on this A control from Lobby, so you can see that Cello fell into a position to cover it if they pushed out of heart, which was strong. And back into A goes Yuri. So no one's going to catch these outside rotations, but you do have hearts already in the vents ready to catch them if they go secret. Oh, Yuri with the info peak to have been spotted. And he's going to catch the back end of Zaka, who's going to survive. Art is ready for this, but they have to be careful in case they go back up vents. Trade it out. And it, here's, here's your issue. Fallen had, an, uh, Fallen had an M4 instead of an MP9. Would have won that angel. Easy. Easy kill. You're in a 3v2. Just retake. I think Cello comes in to save the day here. Yeah, this is a Lin Vision fault here. Lin Vision just do not keep eyes on single door at all. No idea of any rotations. They're just fully focused on ramp. Um, Zaka came down late down the vents. So that's where that happened. You're going to notice here, Caserato's ability is just on another level to these guys. Caserato just spent the entire contender stage smurfing, essentially. Or out by Zaka, but... It's a fair one. It's good positioning from him. Let's get through this. Here we go. Okay. So down onto a week by, you want to do something that's a bit crunchy, maybe onto lobby, especially if they're taking outside control, take away that extra space from them. And here is another massive issue that I have with this round. Don't mind if you're going to crunch lobby 
and you're going to take control but the way that you do that is by having two people go through heart and three people go through ramp to try and counter any crunch that you get from any other positioning fallen is the ramp player on furia has left ramp completely open and has positioned himself into a place where he can't help out on a because they're getting aggro on a they're getting aggro towards heart you can see these two players here working towards the heart position spamming it out um you've got two people outside or one person main i can't really tell what they're looking at right now maybe playing anti-flash um you've got one person towards outside getting info fallen just isn't contributing here this is more of a default spread more than anything there's no crunching going on here there's no opportunities to try and you know grab a couple of guns off the enemies fallen has just left ramp open for no reason and of course but our lin vision now have ramp and ramp is gone Oh, it's going to chuck out his own smoke to play with. Fallen's waiting for the opportunity to flank, but it's never going to come in. That's a good opening into the smoke there from uh, Lin Vision. That's a good use of the CS2 physics. Fallen's clear here. Awful. Clears out behind red box. That's fine. Why? What is your attempt there? Just start to go down ramp. If he went down the left side, probably would have caught... Um, I think it was Starry. Starry's playing ramp. I think he would have caught him off guard, but just nothing. Yeah, and now Fury are left in the save. So already full nil down. And next round you can have a buy, but Art once again with low money because he force bought an MP9. Art's force buying of MP9s is unreal. And it's really starting to get on my nerves. I actually didn't make a note of that last time. So let's do this again. Fallen leaving ramp open. Art. Forcing MP9 on round three. I've gone through this game already and I've made a note of all of the mistakes that Furia makes in this game. And it's just shockingly poor. But a full pie coming through. G still on the Mac 10. That could be uh, could be good for a couple of kills, especially if he goes ramp again, which he absolutely is. Nice fallen with the opening, and in classic fallen 2024 style, he's just not going to be able to follow up the second kill. But looks fit. Oh, Miliac down vents early. This is good. Really well played from Lin Vision. Oh, that's the timing. Nicely done from Art. I also noticed there just doesn't appear to be any comms between uh, between Envision and Fury here because Art in that situation, unless if he's heard him go down vent, it's just going to assume that he's come from outside. But Yuri's got outside clear, and this is a massive slip up, I believe, from Yuri. Luckily, it doesn't wait to anything. But so Yuri's rotated into CT. You can see here. I'm going to show him on the mini map. Yuri's rotated into CT to cover anyone from going hell and then going heaven towards A, because he knows ramp is open. B is covered by Fallen, who's at the back silo. Cello's currently holding A, with his last bit of util. And Yuri's got this hell position, so he should be able to catch anyone off going hell or heaven. This is the most embarrassing delayed bit of CS I've ever seen from this level of Counter-Strike. Yuri's reaction here is god-awful. So it looks like they're getting ready to pop, smoke into main. Uh-huh. Yeah, you saw that, right? Yuri missed everything. Everything. It's, it's not a single bullet. Not a single bullet has hit Zaka. I mean, Zaka is completely off his head here because his reaction is to go up into heaven after being shot and pull out on Molly, which is just, what are you going to do with this? Yuri misses every single shot to Zaka, peeks out, sees Cello, and then just dies. <laughs> this is the only round where I can comfortably say that Linvision opened their demise. But what is that reaction from Yuri? Just missed every shot on the guy going towards heaven. And Westmeller needs to absolutely sprint away here. Don't think Fury will chase this kill based on their money.
a finally a round under the ba uh, in the bag for Fury. I think there is a bit of a technical pause here in another advert. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bit of a technical pause. Maybe just a regular pause, not quite sure. Anyway, round six. We got default set towards our side. Looks like they're going to try and take some outside control again. Default smokes Yuri working around there. That is beautiful from Yuri. Nice positioning. He's obviously noticed there's a bit of a gap in the defense there or in the uh, in the smokes, using it to his advantage. Beautiful. Mark with a decent smoke, but it allows them to get a lot of control here. And Fallen's reposition. This is perfect. Our only problem being. Lin Vision have walked down here, so they don't know. Um, Fury don't know how many people have managed to cross the secret. Fallen is assuming there's no one behind him. I know he has repositioned to cover the ramp again. Yeah, it's a very typical jump spot here. Good boost from G. Yeah, Fallen's so, so conscious about this ramp. After the one round where he doesn't cover it, he covers it way too much for the rest of the game. It's a good flank from Yuri. This round is absolutely furious in the bag. I, I genuinely don't remember who wins this round, but I know for a fact it should be Furia. 15 seconds left and they're trapped. Yeah, it's done. Saka's going to get hunted here. He's to die before time is up. Yeah, perfect. Cool. Yeah, a couple of cleans rounds from Furia. Um, missed spray from Yuri on that uh, 5v3, I think it was, but besides that, it's looking pretty clean so far. Little bit of an early molly from Starry. Oh, shot from Fallen. And that's actually really well done from Furia, because obviously Fallen's been playing ramp this entire time, but for this one round, he's uh, he swapped his art by the looks of it. And uh, Yuri's moved into a, Fallen's moved into outside just to reposition the AWPA so they're not getting too comfortable with having all of this outside control without facing any AWPA. And um, Art has rotated onto ramp for this round and he's playing very defensive, so yeah, very, very nice repositioning from Furia. Even if it is against a bit of an eco or a bit of a force buy by the looks of it, it's a couple of tech nines, a couple of a, there's a D in the equation, a couple of AKs, so yeah, this is very much a force situation. It's a really good crossfire position from Art and Cello as well. Cello's on the info peak and then Art can peak up the second he takes the attention away. Ooh, I say that. Art went down before Cello, that's not what they wanted. Westmelon missed his flash. And based on the health of the last few players, this round's just done, so it should be a third round to Furia. Very clearing outside, beautiful, nice bit of shadow work. I say that. <laughs> Lin Vision now have a chance, which is very concerning, but Case Rato and Yuri going together could be okay. Slightly concerned they could lose this. I have faith in Case Rato though. <laughs> This is my next big problem. Okay, cool. Yeah, I remember this. Clear as day. I have actually recorded this video once, by the way, already, and I had to get rid of it because uh, chat overlay was on, unfortunately, even though I wasn't aware of it at the time. <laughs> and uh, some bot came in and spammed a load of really inappropriate stuff, so I had to get rid of the stream. 
Um, I'll pause it. You'll see in the background here, keep an eye on this little bit of wall here. So I don't know if Yuri has spotted the gun barrel because this is just your standard pre-fire ready for Starry to swing. Um, obviously they want to go for the right viewed angle peak. So Starry's more likely to peak from the left hand side here for Yuri rather than the right. You'll see that Starry's shadow is on the wall and Yuri just ignores it. Look, there it is. You see it on the wall and Yuri just ignores it. Anyway, that's uh, that's my criticism there. Oh, nice try from Caserato. Yeah, that's abysmal from Yuri. Not being able to see that shadow or not paying attention to it is really god awful. Also, just lazy crosshair placement. I'll go back a second. You can see he just drifts his crosshair down, like starts to clear out lower. Does not pay attention to the shadow at all. The shadow's moving towards the right, and rather than checking the right-hand side, he just ignores it. Like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, that's an embarrassing round um, from Furia. Really embarrassing round. Good chance to break Lin Vision's money. They could have been against a full eco in the following round and just nothing. Nothing goes their way then. Falling with the reposition in secret. Very audible though. This is good though, you should be good for three kills here because you can reposition here once, get a second kill, turn around, yep, and then a third one on stairs and back off into the site. Or he's opted for vents, which is also a good choice. And it is classic easy orping there, those angles are really easy for an orper. Shadow with a wisp spray, but it's fine. CS2 things, oh that is awkward. On shallow, something massive. One. Nice, two. That's, I don't want to see Fallen picking his nose. I'm out from the division. There you go. And this is what I said. They were, uh, they're trying to break the tea economy. And um, yeah, once this round is done, as long as Fury can get this one in the bag, this should be easily broken. However, since Lim Vision have got Tech Nines, you would expect something a bit more up tempo, and there's just no. He, here's the thing. Here's the thing that frustrates me with this game. Fury, you don't use any of the information they've gathered from the game to adjust their game pl their game plan or game style. They've just done the exact same thing every single round. We've lost outside control. Let's just rotate someone down vents. It doesn't work because five v one is just not possible. Like Cello, Yuri, or Art can't just go down vents and immediately get five kills every round. They've left full outside control here. You're on a full buy, you could position Fallen on the orb outside, you could move someone around from ramp, you could have a double set up towards outside and one person ramp and then 2A. There's so many ways of playing this and they've just completely left outside open. And suddenly Linvision have full map control. No one's covering main as well. See what I mean? No, no one. They get smoked out here from outside. No one. You'll notice these three players here all watching the same angle. No one has turned around. This is just abysmal. It's awful CS. And West Midlands just stuck in, like, snuck in and got an easy kill on cello. Yeah, awful. This is really bad. I don't even need to look at the rest of this round. Linvision with full map control. West Melon's rotated to heaven. No one's going to expect this. They could absolutely go back up to A here. This is beautiful. This is such a beautiful round lineup. Case Rato is going to get timing dodge, but they just shouldn't have this map control. Theory full victims to their own issues here. Look at this. Case Rato has got to cover three angles at once.
and timing. Beautiful, easy. Uh, three A players not covering main during Tech 9 boss round. I just really embarrassing CS. I think this is the uh, <laughs> this is one of the only other times I got to criticise Lin Vision here because obviously, so you'll see G here is still on a pistol, so he needs to upgrade to his gun. And I think if I remember rightly, they go hunting for these kills because they know that the uh, they know that the money of fury is going to be a little bit on the knife edge. No, it's not this round; it's a different one. Okay. He's going to go hunting for this orb. No, fair enough, he's happy to just call off. I yeah, apologise for any drinking. Your throat goes really dry when, uh, <laughs> when recording. Yeah, nice, nice opening. Just, no one's covering anything. Awful. Really embarrassing. There's something else that happened in that round as well. Is that the round where Emiliac managed to get down fence because K Serato wasn't watching it? Yes, it was. Okay, there was something else that happened this round as well, and I'm going to go back and analyse it. Apologies. Apologies for missing it. So it's back when Yuri's still alive. So. Okay. Yuri's down fence, right? Hear me out. K Serato is covering. I'll explain the situation as it goes. So K Serato is currently in hut covering lobby. Because they know that Emiliac is going to play lobby, right? This interaction here means that y they know Yuri's in vents, okay? The standard thing here to do for Case Rato is immediately rotate to cover out vents so any no one can drop down on top of Yuri and kill him here. Because you know there's someone in main and there is also the possibility that someone is in lobby. If you push out three heart, there's no reason for it. You're most likely going to go squeaky. Because it's the easiest route, easiest route to get on top of Yuri and kill him. Watch. Case Rato's just not holding it, and you'll see in the replay here at the end. Let me get the replay. Oh, I do not want this bloody advert. Yeah, great call, cool. level 10 crook. Yeah, you'll notice here, so Westman gets the opening, Emiliac walks through the smoke that should be being held, by the way. Case Rato knows there is someone here, he should be holding this. Through the smoke, on top of Yuri kills him, because they know he's there. So many unnecessary deaths, and I've actually got that down one as one of the notes, that's two faults in one round there. Okay, good, Yuri's going to back outside this round, this is good. Ooh, fast A-pop, this is nice. I think this is the round... Yeah, okay, cool. You won't be able to hear it because the audio is not on, however. In this situation, they've taken two people onto ramp to try and take trophy control and lobby control because they know they're playing a lot with the outside control. They're not really pushing anyone into, up into ramp, but there is one guy that plays lobby. And as long as Arc and Cello can trade this guy, they've got map control. Everyone's stuck into outside, they can... Hold off hell, they can hold CT, whatever they need to do. They don't have outside control, that's fine, because they've got every other bit of the map on lockdown. This really frustrates me. Art goes silent all the way through this smoke, right? Cello is shown that he's still deep ramp. Oh, Cello is shown that he's still deep ramp in this position. He's shooting from far back to show that there is, you know, bullets here, he's spamming through the smoke. He doesn't want to show that anyone's pushed through. Yuri gets a kill on to A. Perfect. Fine. Art doesn't need to rush anything here. It's a 5v4. Play your numbers advantage. Art knows that there's a lot of them in lobby. They've made a lot of sound. There's a lot of things going on. In this situation, Art should walk up behind them and get an easy kill. Motherfucker just runs. Watch. Walks all the way up behind the smoke and holding shift, holding shift. I'm going to run now. And dies. <laughs> What is this man doing? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to get ahead of the guy that's coming in from T-Roof, who's chucking in supportive flashes? Like, are you trying to get ahead of him and go through Hut? Someone's going to turn around and shoot you. Like, I don't get what this man is doing.
like furious at this point. We're about to lose seven rounds. Cello recovered that rather nicely. Yep, down vents we go, straight into B. Easy. Zaka holding the rotate is good. But Zaka does take, if I remember rightly, Zaka takes way too long to rotate, uh, rotate down to B here. Starry's going to hear them both coming ramp, he needs to call that out. Bit of an unnecessary spam. Guess he's trying to take the attention away from Zaka. Yeah, seems like it. Nice. Oh, such an unnecessary peak, but the time is up, so I guess it would make sense. But yeah, I Furia once again just completely losing a numbers disadvantage. Another four v uh, five v four, and they still lost. What is this team doing? I do not understand. They've they've lost seven rounds and six of them are through their own fault. The only rounds that you can argue wasn't really their fault and more of just was a case of Linvision did well is Pistol. Pistol round was genuinely a very good round from Linvision. Also I don't know what's going on with the bomb timer, it looks really glitchy and like awful. Oh, a bit of aggression out of Fury, like this. He has given away his position though, which was an interesting choice. I don't know why you would do that if you're the only one with a rifle. Did he make noise getting to that position? Didn't really pay much attention. Uh, he kind of... Oh, he must have been spotted. Okay, he got an initial kill, that makes sense. Yeah, fair enough. Fallen's not going to get a trade kill because he's on a USP. Once again, here we go with the fucking Fury antics of their boys. Fallen's on 1.1k, Case Rosso's on 550, Arts on 200, and yet Yuri and Cello are both going to have kind of enough to buy next round. No coordination out of this team whatsoever. You might as well be set playing solo queue without comms. Really god awful from Fury. You hear he bought an M4 and you put it into a position where you can't even recover the gun, like, what is the point? Don't even want to write that down on my notepad because it's just, it's such basic CS. If you have a hero rifle, put it in a position where you can grab the gun afterwards to get a few extra kills. Did Yuri actually buy his M4? I'm going to double check this, hold on. Sorry, bear with me. I need to know. Yuri's got 600. Who's got the most? 1,000 on case Rato. I need to know when this bomb blows up how much money you've got. Don't think it's going to show you me. No, case Rato will have bought the rifle because he had the most money and now he's got the least money here. So he's given the rifle to Yuri. And I have no idea why, because Yuri's just gone aggressive with it and not used it. This round's over at this point. Shadow would be lucky to grab a gun and save. I think he gets caught off by the guy that's lurking in carriage. Yes. Yeah, round's done. Once again, another Fury round wasted with an opportunity to get a few kills, but they just do nothing with it. And another advert. Thank you, Jimbo Shark. Such basic si Oh, this is beautiful from Case Rato. This play is gorgeous, by the way. But this is prime. This is what I mean by Case Rato is just smurfing. Like, he knows that they're just taking outside control every round. He knows that they need to do something about it. And this guy just straight up pushes into heart. Oh, sorry, through squeaky. I love it. This is such a good play from uh, Case Rato. He's the only one trying to be proactive. There is no proactiveness on this whole Fury side throughout this entire half.
Yuri does run the risk of being cut off here because I can't tell. I think Case Rato is watching main, so he shouldn't be flanked. No, he's watching main. Okay, cool. Nice, good double up there from Yuri and Case Rato. Art playing anti. Art could absolutely get flanked at any second. This is very bold from Art. Yeah. It's fine, he's done his job with an MP9. There's not much else you can do with it. This is a Linvision mess up, by the way. They should absolutely be clearing this position. Yeah, not clearing any corners. Free kill for Fallen. Round should be done. Fine, whatever. Linvision have got a load of money anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter for the buy. Oh, technical. Here we go. Oh, it was a uh, half time, that's why. So it doesn't matter about the buy. I was wrong. Okay. This is, I would say, this is Furia's second or third worst round throughout the entire game, and it's T side pistol. All right. I'll give advice to anyone out there who wants to learn a few things about nuke because T side nuke is super difficult and you need to make the most of every single round you can get. Pistol and conversion are the easiest things in the world you can get. There is a very good pistol strat you can do. So one player, keep everyone on the clocks, one player buys a nade, a smoke and a flash. And another player, whoever is at the back of the spawn, gets given bomb and they buy a smoke. The other three players buy armor. Here's what you do. The first guy nades the door on squeaky, smokes main and flashes out into sight. The guy who is playing main is cut off from the site, can't retake, unless he gets a lucky shot through the smoke, he can't do anything. He can push through, but the guy who's thrown the nade and throwing the smoke and throwing the flash is going to be covering him, no chance. The guy who plays ramp is isolated and has to go to heaven, but is going to be late onto site or has to go um, lobby, but I will explain how this works. This is what Furia should have done here, because it's what they tried to do and it didn't work. Every single player who isn't chucking the utility for main needs to run out of hut, trade kill the guy in heaven, trade the guild, trade kill the guy back site if the guy has pushed through main. Crossfire the guy on main if he pushes through with the guy in um, squeaky, easy. The person who is at the back, just in case there's anyone playing a rat angle on site, chucks down a smoke, plants in the smoke, easy bomb plant, easy post plants, you play crossfire for, um, from hut and squeaky, and you play three guys on site, one playing blue box on site to cover heaven, another person playing from fake or real vents, and then your fifth player can play wherever he wants on top of hut, maybe he wants to push around on the silo, he wants to stick around on that little bit around the outside, maybe push towards main. But you want people playing post plant trade spots, because pistol is like super mega important for economy. Fury aren't going to do that. I'll explain it as it goes along, because this is just, just embarrassing. Yuria has opted to nade door, which is fine, throw the smoke that I said they should throw, which is fine. Um, there is a bit of utility coming in here from T-Roof as well, which Fallen appears to be chucking. Yeah, smoke's to divide site, and rather than going vents or going A, they get an entry kill onto A, and they wait. No one follows R to B. Yuri dies without getting traded. Art is coming back up the vents with bomb and dies the guy in heart. This is what I mean. No one's cleared heart. So this entire time, G's just walked into heart, noticed that they're all in uh, squeaky, and just goes, okay, I'll wait. If you guys want to go B, there's a really guy in B to cover that. If you guys want to go A, you'll walk straight into my line of sight. Art takes the bomb back down to B, and Fallen's still here. What is Fallen attempting to do to distract them? Now Art has to play a 1v4. This, I think there is a round coming up as well, which is the worst round in the entire game. That is the second worst round from Fury. That is god awful. The whole thing is a fucking shit show, and I'm going to use, I will swear on this one, because fuck me, was that abysmal. <laughs> that is the worst T side pistol round on Noob I have seen from any team in a long, long time. 
that's the kind of round that you'd get in a scrim where someone goes, no, 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 A's clear, A's clear, and then no one does anything. What you do there is if there's no one on top, on top of heart, you go, perfect, we've got a vent drop, just drop vents and go B. If four people committed to that and one person stayed behind to cover rotations, easy. Easy round, done. It's going to be one person on B who gets one or two kills. You've traded him and now you're playing a 3v4 retake. This round's fine because it's just people wasting out utility. Um, Art being outside does nothing. I don't know what he's trying to achieve here. But yeah, the whole the whole aim of this round is to waste as much utility as possible and maybe take a gun off the enemy, but they're just not pushing through a smoke, which is fine. No real synergy from Fury here, though. Caserato's, oh, sorry, Cello's already pushed up and Caserato as well without really... Okay, that's fine, now they're exploding. Nice, easy hold from Linvision. No one peeks with each other, everyone is very hesitant, there is no trading, there is no attempts at trade, and now he's got the, re the support. Yeah, in an eco round, you guys just need to work together. As um, soon as someone on your team swings, swing with them. Worst thing that happens is that you both die and you've done a lot of damage to the other guy. Or the best thing that happens is one of you's died and you've got a trade. Or the guy gets like freaked out by the fact that two people are peeking him at once and he dies anyway. Free gun, free upgrade, and you've brought down the numbers of the CTs. Okay, first full buy from Furia. And my god, they've got a long road to recovery if they want to do it. Tell you what though, I've got to give credit where credit's due. Art did not force by on round two on T side. So hats off to him. Out bloody time. Ooh, good spam from G. Really good awareness there. Nice, could nade out the smoke as well. That is gorgeous. That is so well played from G. Nice, and Zaka's just completely traded. That is actually amazing. Yeah, Case Rato's done. You can tell Linvision are prepped. Linvision are prepped so well for this match. You know exactly what the Fury default is there. I will say no one has turned their attention towards main. Which is interesting, given the fact that usually the default is four outside and one person inside of Squeaky. I assume Case Rato is just going to go down or save, yeah. Oh, round done. And Fury have taken the timeout. But it's way too little too late at this point. If you're 11-4 down and the other team is on CT on Nuke, you've royally fucked up. Yeah, you've got a force here. Cello could have gone with a Mac 10, which is interesting. I don't really know what his plan is next round. Maybe he's going to drop hero AK. And I think there's a technical here. Skip ahead a little bit. Okay, cool. Here we go. Uh, the util outside. Fury are going to go for what looked like was going to be an A pop, but they've not really had too much success. Nice opening kill from Case Rato. I know there's someone back site. This is good info. Yeah, good trade from Cello. Oh, nice from Cello. Yeah, Linvision's at save. You've got enough to read my next round. You've got a little bit in reserve as well if you don't lose these last two players. Perfect opportunity just to save and back off, and I think that's what they're going to do. Um, Yuri are not hunting because they don't want to lose too much money, which makes sense. Okay, cool. Round 17. 
I'm just going to chuck some outside utility, so they should focus on this a bit more, but it looks like my standard squeaky control art's going to make it through to Vance, and West Mellon has ignored it. That was really quite abysmal from him, I don't really know what he was doing there. Good rotations though. See, this is the thing, when Fury coordinate what they're doing, they actually look strong, but there's just no backup plan. The second Fury don't make their strat work, that's it, it's done. Also, this is by far the worst play from Lin Vision this whole game. Zaka here sees Art in Vents, who is not looking his direction, and he has the perfect opportunity to just kill him. You want to, and you want to taunt, and you want to do something spicy, to him. Okay? What he tries to do is embarrassing. The second you jump up there, you make noise. Art is going to hear that because it's dead silent across the map right now. And of course he turns around and kills him. And immediately activates. Which is fine, but you are at a numbers disadvantage. Kill Art and then it's a 4v4 again. Now you've got a 3v4 and G's got to hit these shots. And he's one and done. It's like... Lin Fury through every pretty much every other round, Lin Vision have thrown this round. Yeah, Cello's awareness is too good for that. I'll tell you what, Cello T side is wonderful. This guy plays very well. If Case Rato is a bit of a demon on CT, that Cello's strong point is 100% T side. Yeah, easy round and they're going to a save. This isn't the chase round, is it? No, it's not. Okay. No, this isn't the Felico round. At least I don't think it is. Amelia and Saka have got guns, Amelia has got head armor. To say no, they've saved an M4. Nice, good opening. No, this isn't the 5v2 round. <laughs> that was by far the worst round in the whole game. So, Miliac and Art have been traded. A entry goes down, and outside is looking very under defended. But fair enough, it's an eco. Good bait from Westmoreland running back with making footsteps. I don't think they know that Zaka's here, but Cello's awareness, like I said on T-Half, is insane. <laughs> Unfortunate, but he was aware. Maybe this is the round, you know. This might be. No, it's not because it was a 5v2. <laughs> it's so undecided on everything. Nice, ball well played from Case Rato. Cut head, cut head. Oh, hello. Sorry. Uh, this is the next round. Sorry, yeah, way, way too early. Okay, cool. Okay, quick A take from R. He's going to get down straight into vents, which is classic R. It likes to be super mega aggressive in every situation. Okay, that's been heard. Starry knows he's here. Art's got an entry. Westmelon's awareness on this hut situation is bad. They need to switch his position because he is clearly not comfortable there. Nice. Art with the flank outside. That's wonderful. Bit of outside control. Don't think G's going to overstep the mark because G's awareness has been really good. And Art won't push because he's low HP. He knows that strength in numbers is the best game to play here. Especially Case Rata being on low HP as well. This is good. These few these few rounds, Fury have worked the map really well. This has been really good and really well coordinated. Oh, 
Oh, they have given up lobby control here. This is kind of brutal. It's fine. You're already in B. It doesn't matter. This should also be a save. I will take a wild guess and save the absolute save here. Or is this the round? Yeah, this is the round. Okay. <laughs> Lin Vision also make another massive mistake here as well. So just to clarify, whatever guns get saved here or what guns are getting carried into next round. G is at the back of site here. Zaka flashes in just to take the attention away. G is going to get the first kill onto Fallen and they trade G, which is fine. They know that Zaka is in hell, right? And Zaka knows that they're going to be saving uh, Red Box because that's the best place to save. You keep the most health. Look at what Zaka does here. Yep, flash into ramp. Easy, nice kill against Fallen here. It should be. Nice, gets traded. People have died to the bomb, but they know someone is here. Zaka is just, he's trying to go and grab the orb, but he knows Yuri is here, and yet he's still run to get that kill. What is this man doing? Yuri gets the kill on the guy in red box and then doesn't die to the bomb. So he knows Yuri is there and he still just runs into him with a knife. This is such sloppy CS. Or at least at this level it is. That is not an advert I'd be wondering what it would be see. Yeah, good round for enough good entry from art. Okay. Okay. <laughs> This is the round and I want to prepare you for the most embarrassing round you've ever seen in your entire life. We have, situation is, we have a full eco from the Envision, right? The players have bought down as much as they can in terms of buying. There's a Zeus, there's a 5-7, there's two more 5-7s and a Deagle. This is essentially a full eco because there's no arm. oh no, there's armor on three of them. Westmillan gets spammed through the smoke through Case Rato, which is fine. She's playing the spot in heart, which could give you a kill, but should get traded if you're smart. Also, someone needs to learn the wallbang spot for that because it's way too powerful. Yuri gets killed on Story outside. They've got full outside control right now, okay? They could rotate players out if they wanted to. If they didn't feel comfortable, they could try and take ramp control because they know that there's most likely going to be one, only one or two people there. They can trade that. It's fine. I can't remember who's the third kill is on here. I'm going to assume it's G. Yeah, so G goes down. Zaka gets a kill with a 5-7. Fair enough, it happens, but 4v2. Don't do anything chaotic. Bear in mind, five seconds ago, this is a... Sorry. This is a 5v2 against what is essentially a full eco. You've got two players with body armor and five sevens, which can be dangerous, but there's five of you, so just trade these kills. Arc dies to the five seven. Cello goes to trade because Cello knows that this guy, um, who is it on ramp? I think it's Saka, right? Saka's going to try and get the AK as an upgrade. Cello also goes down to the five seven. <laughs> At this point, you've got to worry about ramp, you've got to worry about A, you've got to worry about maybe outside. I don't really know where Yuri's sitting right now. I think he's down secret. Like outside is a possibility. They could be flanking, they could be anywhere. Keiserato whiffs once again one of the easiest sets of sprays you're going to see in CS. And if you, if you are a pro who is paid to play the game, are paid a relatively good amount of money as well, Fury, I guarantee they play as, them, uh, play as well. That is shocking from K Strato, but the best thing he can do here is call out, hey, you've fallen, be aware, there could be someone behind you, there could be someone flanking you, like, don't let this, you know, go to the wayside, because if he jumps down behind you and kills you, uh-oh, we've lost an orper. Also, you can see this blood on the wall. Case Rato knows he's tagged him. The guy at ramp peaks. They try and fight this. It's 
Fallen gets flanked, lose the orb, and now it's a 1v1. And Lin Vision win the round. <laughs> that is the worst round. Do you know that my favourite part of this as well is I'm gonna I'm gonna play the audio here. I'm gonna play the audio here because this is extremely entertaining. That's twelve on the pistoling round. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who it is, but from Lin Vision, but somebody just shouts, "What the fuck?" Like, what am I watching? What am I watching? Who is this team? Fury or who? Like, what the fuck is going on? Anyway, yeah, uh, game's pretty much done at that point. Like, what can you do? Yuri knows it. Cello staying dead silent. G says, what the fuck? Okay. Because he knows how embarrassing of a round that is to lose. That is awful. <laughs> that is so bad. You've lost against what is essentially a full eco in a 5v2. Caserato whiffs a spray. Fallen just does not pay attention to the fact that he's being flanked. There is no awareness from anyone on the team. Awful. It's so bad. I tell you what, though, that nade from Caserato is beautiful. Zaka's going to get challenged. I think Fury will take one round and then lose. If I remember right, I think it's 13. Oh, that's nice from Meliak. This double setup towards B is beautiful. They do get one more round and then lose, and I remember why. I remember why I remember why. Oh, that's rough. It should be a done deal. I don't see why they lose this round. Oh no, yeah, yeah, sorry. I thought the scoreline was flipped. I'm that surprised still by the fact that Fury lost this game. <laughs> Can I just say, for any of those wondering, why your pickums are scro so screwed in the contender stage is because of this team right here. Fury ruined everyone's pickums. They ruined two lots of zero threes that should have been dead easy. Legacy and Lin Vision, and then they proceeded to knock out teams that were supposed to make it through rather easily. I think it was Ents, and they knocked out another team as well that people had to go through. It might have been Apex and Ents. Like. This team just screwed everyone in the process. They screwed themselves, they screwed people's pickums. They they did the Greyhound of the Major, which is in the words of Alistair, fuck your pickums. <laughs> this round is shocking as well. You gotta bear in mind, Furia lost 13 rounds in this game. And I'd say 9 or 10 of them were avoidable. Furia should be at 9-3 given all of the mistakes taken away. It's a really good hold by the way. Good trades. He's going to go down here. He should. Yeah, missed shot. That's unfortunate. Okay. Okay, okay. Let me run this by you guys. So. Just to clarify the situation that's gone on here, you know there was a ramp stack, you've killed three people, one guy who's rotated in through hell, right? So you know the last two should be playing outside or on A. Your best bet here is to take, they've saved the AWP and the M4 from the previous round, you've killed both the AWP and the M4, so you know the last two people should be on low by weapons. Maybe there's a forced MP9. Chances are you're coming against people who with armour and a pistol. 2v2. You should always go together and you should play an angle where you can both swing from a specific point and trade the kill. Because at worst you're going to have a 1v1. B is open, by the way, just to clarify. There was every opportunity to go B right now and they could trade the kill on site. Starry goes heaven. Cello and Arp could go outside. They could go B to loads of different ang angles are open. They go up ladder one by one. 
if there's someone at the top of this ladder, which, surprise, surprise, there is, you are dead. Cello's dead. And now Art has to play 1v2. He knows where one of them are. And... That's nothing. What are you supposed to do? You are absolutely going to get crunched here. You could try and sneak B. Be your best bet. In my opinion, personally. Okay, cool. Art does that. Fair enough. But like, why are Cello and Art trying to go heaven's way? Why are you feeding them a kill? And he should expect this, by the way. He's going to expect at least one of them to go ramp because they need to grab guns. But this round's done. No chance. You are going to get swung at the same time. Easy. The worst performance I've ever seen in a major match ever. Like, Rio was embarrassing for no, so many different reasons. There were so many massive upset games. But this has to be the worst match in a CS major I've ever seen. Not the RMRs, the actual major itself. This happened in the 0-1 bracket between the best team in South America and the be second best team in Asia. Non-EU uh, yeah, non CS is a joke, and this just proves it. This game was shocking and abysmal. So many mistakes. I'll go back through the list as well. There was another one on top, off the top of my head that I didn't make a note of when they just didn't take the correct map control. Or, no, they, uh, they forced Yuri up into a position with the bought gun, and then no one else played to pick up the gun, which was just done. Art buying on round two and dying. Yuri missing shots on the guy going into heaven. Yuri missing a shadow in a 2v2 retake on B. Fallen leaving ramp open on round five, I think it was. Art forcing an MP9 on round... got round three. I think I mean round two. No, round two, yeah. It might have been round four then when they were on the second eco. Case Rato not holding squeaky door when Yuri was in vents and got killed by Emiliak who just rushed down with the Tech 9. Three A players not covering main during a Tech 9 forced round, which is god awful. There was no one outside. They forced Tech 9s and Eagles and they just chucked smokes outside after taking outside control every single round leading up to that point. No one to cover the outside. Art making noise taking lobby from ramp when they double pushed ramp and Cello faked. Uh, the fact that he was still really far back on ramp and Art just ran in for no reason. The T side pistol round was a joke. That was the worst round I've ever seen Fury play. Possibly ever. No, no, no. Second worst round because Fury are losing to a full CT eco in a 5v2. And in the same round, Case Rato missing shots on the guy going up the ladder and then not taking ramp to B in a 2v2 or going outside. What are Fury doing? These guys lost 13 rounds and, hold on, how many of them were their own fault? One, two, three, kind of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These guys lost 10 rounds through their own mistakes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed a bit of an analytical breakdown of the worst match uh, in CS Major history. If you have a match that you know that a team played worse based off of pure like pure statistical values and analytical values, if you know a team that played a worse match throughout Major history, feel free to send it my way. Leave it in the comments, let me know what you think. Uh, for anyone who watched this along on Twitch, thank you for watching. For anyone who watched this along on YouTube, feel free to head over to my Twitch where I'll do more analytical stuff in the future as well as commentary work for uh, the Formula 1 game as well as CS. And I'm looking forward to seeing the quarterfinals for the Copenhagen Major in, I think, three days. So, I know one day now. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for joining in. Um, like I said, leave a comment of anything that you know that is equally as embarrassing, if not worse. And... <laughs> I'm so glad Fury are not in the course finals to ruin Pickums even more. Uh, and for anyone who's got a diamond coin, let me know as well, because you lot are crazy and I don't know how you did it. Anyway, thank you Fury for ruining Pickums, and thank you for also ruining uh, what was supposed to be an easy match. See you guys in the next one. Bye.